Hello, folks, and welcome to your Day Weather Podcast on this Wednesday, the 17th of May. I'm meteorologist Mark Huer. Today's podcast is being brought to you by Cowboy State Daily and also YDOT. Well, is there snow in the forecast here this year in the coming couple of days? There is not, but last year we were in a snow event across Many of the mountain locations here in Wyoming and Colorado in this picture is from Ryan's Park last year on the 18th of May. And while we don't have snow in the forecast this year over the next few days, we will be looking at increasing shower and thunderstorm activity in the Rockies and High Plains. And then we'll be much cooler again for Thursday into Friday with a threat of some moderate to heavy rain in areas. Then we'll be looking at building high pressure across the Great Basin and Rocky Mountain West for this upcoming weekend on into early next week. And we'll be looking at a great weekend of spring weather conditions to enjoy all across the Rocky Mountain West and High Plains region. So what can we expect over the next several days? Well, here's our 500 millibar chart for today showing us a big ridge of high pressure across the Eastern Pacific and the western United States and that is producing the warmer temperatures we've been seeing as of late. But we have this low pressure system here in south central Canada and it's going to be taking a track to the south over the next couple of days and we're going to be looking at cooler temperatures and also a cold front moving all the way down into the southern plains and it will be along that cold front as we get into late today and especially Thursday into Friday that we're going to see an enhanced area of some shower and thunderstorm activity. And on Friday itself, we now have the low pressure system up over the Great Base or the Great Lakes area, but we have a trailing cold front back here across the central and southern plains and the southern Rockies. And that's going to keep some cool upslope conditions around much of the high plains for Friday, as well as some additional shower and thunderstorm activity. But we have high pressure starting to rebuild across the western United States and the Great Basin on Friday. And that trend is going to continue into and through the week. And as it does so, we're again going to be looking at a much warmer air mass moving out of the Pacific and the southwest United States and the Great Basin and Rockies. And that's going to bring some very pleasant summer, almost summer-like conditions for this upcoming weekend. And here is our 500 millibar chart for Sunday. And you can see that big ridge of high pressure across the Great Basin, Rockies, and High Plains. And this is really going to keep a lid on shower and thunderstorm activity as well for this upcoming weekend for under high pressure you have subsidence or sinking air, and that is going to limit shower and thunderstorm activity. Still notice we do have a lot of troughs of low pressure, low pressure systems off to our north, and we're gonna keep a close eye on these guys here out into the Eastern Pacific and the Gulf of Alaska, for they very well could bring some moisture and instability back across the Great Basin, Rockies, and Plains into and through sections of next week, but not before we have some really nice weather this upcoming weekend and at least the first couple of days of next week. How about precipitation? Well, yesterday we showed you a three-day total precipitation forecast map, and this is the same three-day period here now, and you can see that we have this spattering of scattered showers and thunderstorms, many of which producing, oh, a quarter to maybe a half an inch or three quarters of an inch into in some areas, even a little more than that. But it's still here across portions of eastern, southeastern Colorado, southwestern Kansas, and the southern high plains in northern New Mexico. That's going to be the focal point for our showers and thunderstorms late this Wednesday, and then especially Thursday on through early Friday. We're starting to see a southward shift a little bit of possibly this heavier swath of precipitation in the form of moderate to heavy rain and some strong thunderstorms. We're going to have to watch to see if it's going to continue to perhaps track a little bit further south. Hopefully not too far for these areas here definitely need some good moisture and this is the best chance we've had in a little while. Also, the threat of severe weather, not all that high for today nor Thursday, generally just a little bit too cool or not enough shear in the atmosphere and volatility, but we will have a chance of perhaps a few severe thunderstorms in this area today 
and again maybe on Thursday but the risk is minimal how about temperature anomaly on Friday with that cold front in the area and the week upslope well all these areas here in the blue and green seeing below average temperatures for your Friday this is when this graphic is valid for a few degrees below average up here across northern Wyoming and the southern sections of the state central high plains but where the precipitation is heaviest and the clouds are thickest well below average temperatures as much as 5 to 10 degrees or thereabouts on your Friday for this area and that means readings just in the 60s for highs with all the warmth back here out in the west but this warmth will be working its way eastward as we head into and through the weekend and we'll be looking at temperatures near to above average all across the Rocky Mountain West and Great Basin region. It's going to be warm this weekend early next week. And yesterday we talked a lot about Lake Powell and the amount of water flowing into it. I want to show you some river stage graphics here today for the Western United States. These are from the National Water Center and these yellow squares and circles are representing near flood stages on rivers and streams across the western United States. Quite a few rivers and streams nearing flood stage. We have a handful of river locations across the west that are at minor flood stages represented by these orange circles and squares and then we do have some moderate flooding at a few locations or a couple to be exact one of which is Dolores River near Cisco the other of which is the Portneuf River at Pocatello Idaho thankfully we're not seeing much moderate flooding and no extreme flooding here across the western United States that might change a little with all the warmth coming in this weekend but so far so good as far as flooding is concerned with our spring runoff and we've put all these stages together as well as no flooding being represented by the green dots and squares you can see that currently we're in pretty good shape all across the western United States and the blue squares and circles represent flood category that is not defined Thanks for watching today and we'll talk to you tomorrow.